Oh, jeez. God, that bear is so much closer than I thought. I mean, it, it's it's right there. I think the CB65 has the power. <gasps> no, 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 no! Alrighty. Hello and welcome to the channel. And for today's video, the idea is simple. I haven't done grizzly bear in a while. So it is 4 a.m. We're in Yukon and uh, we're starting over here, wherever the heck this outpost is, Pioneer Crossing. There we go. And the plan is to just kind of follow it northward and see what I see. I would like to try and get it with the uh, compound bow, but uh, given my luck with bow hunting predatory things, I don't know how well this will go. I do have the 303 with me. I actually am kind of curious how the 303 will treat a grizzly bear. There's also the other issue of I am in full realism mode, meaning I'm not 100% sure how to identify between a boar and a sow grizzly. I do know there are differences, but as far as in-game goes. So my hope here is, I don't know, I hope to get a boar, and I, but I am, I am willing to use a rifle if it looks like uh, bow and arrows just out of the question. So, that being said, time to head off into the dark woods where there's thousand pound predatory animals. Why does this never sound like a good idea at the beginning? Well, that didn't take long. I, I could have sworn I was hearing some footsteps up here. Uh, my guess would be that that is a, a, a sow. I believe as far as here, the boars are generally bigger and darker in color. I believe. I could be entirely wrong about that. Now, being as it's early morning, I'm pretty sure she's moving down to the water over there. Uh, wind is in my favor, so I'm going to creep on in. Said no wise man ever. Oh, there's another one. See, now that... That might be a boar. This, uh... This, this can end well. I, I need to get closer, obviously, without being detected. Oh. I was staring at that going, that's the base of the tree, and then I saw the claws. That is not that far away from me. Is that a boar? Let me get up to this tree here. I think that's a boar. They didn't let out a warning call. I'm hoping that they, uh, they're they letting out warning calls, and that was just a silent, silent bear, because otherwise I might have another issue on my hands here. I'm very certain. I, I'm not 100%, but I'm feeling that's a boar. All right. Just gonna try and call it into me. I wanna be careful though, because I know there's more than one around here. There's at least three. I don't wanna call the wrong one in. Get myself in a bind. That being said, if I could move up to this tree to the right, I might be able to get shot on that guy. Uh, yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I would imagine that this is probably the most dangerous way you could hunt bear in real life. At least the stars look pretty. She'll be good, because that might be the last thing I see. Oh, jeez. God, that bear is so much closer than I thought. I mean, it, it's, it's right there. I think the CB-65 has the power. <gasps> no, 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 no! Oh. I can still see the stars. I'm alive. Okay. Look at that. That is a down grizzly. At this point, I do not care if that was a boar or a sow because I think it was re ready to kill me either way. I'm also going to have the problem of scent now because I am carrying an extra scent with me I wasn't 30 seconds ago. And that was a 1,000 pound, six hard male boar through the left lung, liver, stomach, intestine. That 600 does work, 1,300 cash, 21 yard shot. 21 yards might be a little close. Um, yeah, that, that, that almost got me, but went right where I want. I wanted to try and catch the lung. I wasn't gonna do any tricky heart shots or anything like that, but that was a thousand pound grizzly bear, 20 yards away. Close that gap quick. Okay, well, see if we can't find another. I'm pretty sure the 
Was it one more or two more I spotted walking over here? I'm pretty sure they were both sows. But it doesn't mean I can't keep my eyes peeled just in case. And as the sun comes up, they're going to move back into the tree line. It'll make them harder to find, but at least... Eh, well, I, it's kind of a toss-up. Harder to find because they're back in the tree line. Easier to find because they won't blend into the dark surroundings. Oh, I need a nice little walk by the water here to get my heart rate back down. Holy hell. I was trying to figure out what these rocks were doing twitching. Turns out there was some uh, bedded down caribou over there. That might be worth a closer inspection later on. All right, well, the two sows definitely moved down further. I got some trampled grass here. There's a couple prints in amongst them, so I don't think they are too far away. The wind is still in my favor, so with any luck, it's just a matter of spotting them before they spot me. Of course, that's kind of the trick with hunting in general, isn't it? So that's not really anything new. That's good. That's good right there. What am I seeing here? It may be hard to make out, but there is a bear print. So something's wandering down the shoreline here. Oh, you are taking off. Even though it looks a little lighter in color, the shoulders. Uh, maybe that's another boar. You know, I think I might just post up in this tree and watch it for a minute because I don't think that's the one I, I'm tracking over here. But at the same point, I can't tell. I, I don't know what they're doing right now. I need to figure that out. Oh. Well, there's another one right there, and I just lost sight on the first one. Well, unfortunately, I have two things against me. One, the only way for me to get across there is there's a bridge up that way. The second thing is once I get in there, I have a funny feeling my wind would be going the wrong way. Since right now my wind is blowing directly at them, uh, but once I cross over there, the amount of time it would take me, I don't think they would be there. I think my best bet is to keep going, you know, upwind, and I'll probably find more, but that is... Uh, that's good news. Some are, some are still settling in and drinking, so I, that gives me good hope that I can still find something up this way. And again, I don't think they can cross. Maybe they can. That might have been the one I was chasing. I just noticed there is a spot she she or he could have crossed. I, I think those are both she's, but I could be wrong. All right, let's go find something else. Huh. Well... When you lose one, you may find another. So there's some more sign, footprints, headed off into the trees, but still following the waterway. All right, well, maybe with any luck, I'll be able to find this one. Oh, I almost think that's another boar. Let's, uh, whew, I almost didn't see that one in time. See, now when they're drinking, if they're not near the trees, if they're pretty easy to spot. I mean, a thousand pound animal, right? But man, when they're in those trees, they blend into the shadows so well. Oh, like that last one. I really thought that was a tree trunk until I noticed that trunk had claws. So I think my goal with this one's gonna be more of a 40 yard shot. <laughs> Give it a little more time to get out of the way. I lost sight of it. Was it over here? Is that, oh, there it is. Oh, I gotta move up one more tree. Which, unfortunately, it also looks like I'm going to have to shoot through a tree. Ah, uh, this is... Cool. Okay. Uh, actually, you know what? That tree over there is looking mighty anticipating. Anticipating? Appetizing. Whichever. Going that way. Okay. It's not great visibility. i got to try and move a little bit. There we go. Oh. Look at that beast. Well, at least that led to a rather brief pucker moment. Maybe. Oh, I don't... S oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, I see. I see him. Okay. I'm, I'm hoping it's a him. I think it is. Luckily, grizzly bears don't appear to be like bison, where it doesn't seem to matter how far away you shoot them, the bison always seem to know where the shot came from. Now that's... The water looks like it's uh, washed away the initial hit already. But uh, judging by the blood here... That was a good double lunger right there. You know, now that I see it up close, this may not have been a boar. But it is. It was another six hard, 1,025 pound male, so slightly bigger than the last one. And this time I got it through for both lungs and liver through that shoulder blade. That was a 46 yard shot. So 21's too close, 
46 seems to be about just right to still have all the drive I need and uh, not have him come after me. So I need to keep that in mind for the next one. 1300 cash. Love it. Predators pay so well. All right. Well, it's starting to snow, which might actually make life a little easier, but I need to find me another one. Hey, hey, hey. There's a caribou. And uh, a very sad excuse for a moose. What, what is that? Why? Yeah, you know what? Nah, I'm gonna leave those to be. I'm here for grizzly bear. Oh, shoot. Drop, 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 drop. Dang it. This is why I needed to focus. That frickin' caribou and moose drew my attention long enough I didn't notice I was about to walk up on that. And sadly enough, I want to say that was another boar. Well, the moose is making noise. Uh, you know what? Maybe I can get that boar to come back. There, right there. Okay. Let me get into a bush here. Wait, there's a couple. Uh-oh. You know what? It's too far. See, that bear is big, because I thought that was a lot closer than it is. You gonna stand up for me? <sighs> that big one didn't move. <sighs> Got it. It's down. Okay. Now that is what I would like to call a prolonged pucker moment. Look at this caribou right here. He's just like, what the hell's going on over there? Eh, screw it. Sir, your self-preservation instinct is lacking. So let's start with this one over here. Oh, right there. Yeah, that was a good vital. Good vital. Even made it to uh, screed itself there, huh? Now this is not a boar. Right? You're a sow? Yeah, I think this one was a sow. Let's see. No, that's another boar. I have apparently absolutely no idea how to tell. I guess I must be right about maybe the shoulders? Anyways, 1,200 cash. Uh, that was just a three very easy little 630 pounder. Probably why I thought it was a sow. Drilled through for both lungs. That was 19 yards. Way too close. I think the caribou finally got the idea to take off. Yeah, here's the other one. Ooh, and he was a big in 1,323 pound, eight mythical. Got through the shoulder blade for double lung thoracic vertebrae at 64 yards, 1,600 cash and eight mythical. Very happy with that, very happy. And I had no idea. I mean, he looked physically bigger, but I had no idea that was an eight mythical 1,300 pounder. Probably a good idea to take it at 60 yards, because that one would have definitely killed me. And I think he was just starting to set back down, and that's why the arrow's so far back. But you know what? That's that's a good one right there. Happy with that. Very happy with that. All right. Unfortunately, I believe it's getting late enough in the day they're going to start moving back into the trees a bit. Like those two, they were by the water, but they were further back. So it may become exceptionally harder to spot them. At least to spot them before they spot me. I think the next grizzly bear I'm going to go ahead and take with the 303. Just so I can answer my curiosity of what the 303 does to a grizzly bear. I think I can. Hang on. Hey, there's a grizzly bear to my right. There's sevens. Yes, I can. <gasps> Alright, let's get up to this tree. He's crossing left to right. He's actually, uh, he's working downwind of me. So this actually will be perfect because I don't think I'm going to be able to get him in range to take him with the bow. <laughs> now at this point, the wind has actually rotated, is going left to right, so I have some room in front of me he could possibly walk in. I have hit, hit myself with some scent eliminator just in case, but chances are he's going to be so close this is going to be a good old iron sight shot. <laughs> oh shoot, right there. Never mind. That's perfect. <sighs> OK, 
Okay. I'm going to give him a minute. I say him. Now that, I'm going to shoot myself in the foot if I'm wrong, but I'm probably wrong. That's a sow. The lighter color. Uh, if I remember correctly, I watched it from on a TV show. I think it was Meat Eater. Uh, the sows have rounder bottoms, lighter in color, smaller in stature. How much of that translates to here, I do not know. But I guess I'm about to find out. If that if this holds true, if that is a sow, then I may have finally actually been able to start identifying them. So just in case he or she, hopefully she, is not down, I'm going to sneak on over quietly. I don't think that's the same one I saw. I think there was more than one over here. I think it's been long enough. I should be able to... If it's down, it's down. If not, oh well. Uh, here's its track. Oh, there we go. Yes, very good vital hit. Very happy with that. And it ran up over this hill, I believe. Ah, there it is. There it is. Okay. That's good, because I lost its track. I I think I... Yeah, I turned too far right. Definitely a sow, right? Has to be a sow. That's another male. All right, well, okay. I give up on that. <laughs> so it is a six hard 1,000 pound male. 60.30, almost gold. All checks passed. 1350 cash. 80 yard flesh left lung so even the polymer tip you know it's not like the 300 you just it just does not have the strength to get all the way through but then again that's one of the reasons i love using the compound all right well why not let's go for one more this is probably going to be the hardest one only because they're surely going to start moving back into the trees now even further but who knows maybe i'll get lucky and uh i'll hear them again be able to call them to me you know i just want to throw this out there I definitely consider Yukon as one of my top contenders for one of the prettiest maps in the game. Uh, primarily just because of the dynamic weather system, including snow. You know, rain, in my opinion, rain doesn't affect the environment that much. So the change in appearance doesn't uh, isn't that drastic. But with snow, how they have it build up on the ground and everything, it's fantastic. And it really kind of amplifies that uh, sense of I've been sitting here a long time when you go from a dry sunny day to uh cold and snowing i really thought i saw something move behind that tree oh there's a caribou pick your head up buddy let's see what you are nothing impressive okay oh now that looks like a big one. see what i mean though blends in so well and i have a perfect headwind now he's about 200 yards away but that's still within collar range so what i think because of how open it is i'm gonna sit up in this tree and call him to me i'm hoping he'll either come in dead at me or to the left if he comes into the right i'm gonna have problems but what else is new actually this tree right here might work out because i can see him and it looks like no matter how he approaches me i'll be able to see him now the only thing i have to hope is there's not another one closer <coughs> uh, anything no okay I, all right. Apparently he had a sneeze. He doesn't seem to care one way or the other, so I guess sneak on in. This this can only end well. I'll use some of these trees here to my right for cover, and I guess I'm going to try and get to that tree there. So it looks like that'll put me in a pretty good shooting position. Well, as it was with the stars, at least it's a beautiful view. So if this is my last view, it's a good one, because that... That means death, if I screw up. The head on that thing. And he's so patiently waiting for me. At this point, I have to wonder, does he know I'm coming? Like, is this a bring it moment? Well, let's just uh, range with the bow here. Bow says it's good. Uh oh. What? Wait, what happened? How? They both missed. Oh my lord, I grazed him. I shaved some fur off his belly. That was it. Wait. But he didn't wander far. He did not wander far at all. Can I get him? Are you calm enough? Just like that, he's gone. So ever so carefully. I gotta try and find that guy. Wait. Is that him? 
Did he really just go to the top of the hill and sit back down? All right, this might be the best shot I can hope for. Uh, I might be able to send it through his right front leg and nick both lungs. Hopefully. Uh, let's break out the bow and see what the bow says for range. The bow says it's doable. Okay. Let's give it a shot. Definitely a hit. And it just went down, and it's going down, and down, and down, and it stopped. That's a dead grizzly. Woo! Now the best part about this one, it offers up the best picture of him so far. All right, let's see what we nailed. So I missed the left or right lung entirely, but I did manage to get liver and left lung, and that was a six hard 6190 gold, 1,096 pounds, Almost 1,500 cash, very happy with that. And that was a 70 yard shot. 1,096 pounds, that makes him mud like the third biggest for the day. Alrighty then. Alrighty, so I don't know what the bag limit is for Grizzly Bear. I imagine it can't be much more than one. Uh, so however many I got today, I've, I've honestly lost count, what, five? Pretty happy with that. Uh, it's starting to get to the point of the day where it would be very hard to find them in the woods. And quite frankly, I'm actually fighting off a cold right now. So uh, that cabin looks mighty inviting. Very happy with that eight mythical. And uh, but I think I'm going to end it there. So if you have any interest in helping support the channel, there's links in the description down below. There's buttons if you liked it, buttons if you didn't. And as always, buttons to push until next time.